Hello, Survival Experts 101 with another video. Uh, today, this is the. We're going to do a review on the Condor EDC bag. It's a fantastic bag. I really love it. I use it a lot and I use it often. Um, it's very similar to the Maxpedition EDC bag, but I actually find that this bag is better than the Maxpedition, and this one costs $31. And the max edition costs a hundred and thirty dollars, and really, there's no difference I find. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of what it looks like and what I have in it. This is not everything that I carry with me. I usually, have a bit more, but I've taken a bit out because I needed it for another thing. Um, yeah, so in the front and on the outside, we have Velcro strips. So it's Velcro right there. Uh, here I have an EDC patch, or no, what's it called, sorry, an EOD patch and a black Canadian flag. I'm keeping with the black look, it looks pretty cool. Um, so here you have the strap, it's a VersaPak, so it's a one sling. This can come off if you ever need to clean it or take it off. It's very well padded, it's got rubberized patches on it so it doesn't slide off your shoulder. It's connected with a buckle, so if you're wearing a lot of clothes or a backpack with it, you can just unbuckle it and not have to take everything off. You have molly down both sides of the um, strap. Here I carry a night's eye carabiner, and it has a key chain holder right here. It's very well padded, and um, because it's like a mesh padding, it doesn't like sweat, and it's very breathable. It's got a very comfortable handle, well positioned handle. Um, so in the front you have a buckled strap, very sturdy buckles, I really enjoy the buckles. And you have a velcro area here. This is where I usually keep my iPod or my phone and some bug spray. It gets pretty, the mosquitoes get pretty bad up in Canada. So, And then here you have a pouch, just a normal pouch there. I don't keep valuables in there just for like pickpocketing or losing. It's a very good travel bag as well. Uh, I use it for traveling a lot. Here I carry two Sharpies just in case. Some paracord, a uh, storm whistle. Usually I have my flashlight and a knife in here. I um, also have a health card. Um, this is an elastic pouch here and all of here you've got elastic retention straps for your items it's a very good bag on the sides you have molly straps with a like a pen flashlight holder on each side in here I have my very extensive first aid kit you never know when you need it. A pack of tissues, cold and flu season, some medical first aid tape, a Canadian Forces field message book, in case I need to take a note or something, some Mechanix um, fast fit gloves. I have the original gloves and I use those for um, household chores and actual auto repairs and stuff like that. Mechanics make excellent gloves. I really love their gloves, really good quality, and they're not that expensive. I also carry a Canadian Red Cross First Aid Accident Report, so it explains what I did, um, the medical, like, it just does a rundown, so if I'm ever, if the paramedics show up and they want to ask, like, what happened and stuff like that, or the actual, um, person needing first aid, then I have it on record. It's great for liability and all that. I also have towelettes and alcohol rub down there. Um, yeah, and then in here you have another like concealed kind of zippered pouch here. It's got Velcro on the inside, so that's where you can put your handgun with your um, holster in here for concealed carry. Um, in Canada, we can't conceal carry, so I don't do that. I don't worry about that. Usually, I just have paper or, you know, just stuff in there. 
in the US so I do know a couple people who do use it and it works excellent they said they love it. it it's very sturdy it's very comfortable you don't notice it or feel it so I'm sure it's very good the overall the bag is I give it a 10 out of 10 I think it's fantastic it um, performs just just as good if not better than Max Edition for 31 bucks you can't beat that uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you have any more questions please comment below and subscribe thank you for watching